great having my next guest back here on the program and definitely wanted to get his th- side on things. We had a really crazy fight over the weekend at UFC Vegas 38, which resulted in a no contest between Kevin Holland and my next guest, Kyle Dawkins. Kyle, how's it going, man? Thanks for making the time. Hey, what's going, man? I appreciate it. Appreciate the time. Let's start first. Just how are you feeling? I know it's it's not a loss. It's not a win. It's somewhere in between with that no contest. How are you feeling just a few days later? I know you're uh, back home now. Uh, I mean, I'm bothered, I guess. It it's not a way that you want to fight to go. Uh, and especially afterwards, it's not a lot of contra- you don't want a lot of controversy, obviously in your fight. Um, but you know, it's, it's, it went the way it went. Um, I watched it like three or four times and, uh, yeah, I'm just annoyed about it overall. Yeah, no, un- understandable. And even sort of the fallout of what's happened since then, I-, I kind of, you know, understand your frustration as well. Let's talk about the fight itself and how it kind of unfolded. So first off, with the headbutt, obviously, I'm sure you knew you hit his head and that he that he went down. Were you surprised the referee missed that? Because I think had they saw it, they could have obviously done something there, but they just let the fight continue. Yeah, um, honestly, during the fight, I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm doing all that. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, but yeah, like during the fight, I didn't, I didn't, during that like exchange, I didn't feel a headbutt. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't really sure like what had happened. I saw him fall flat um, and I kind of just jumped on him. Um, the ref didn't really say anything. Uh, after the fight was over, um, I went over to Brendan Fitzgerald and I was like, well, I said, was it a headbutt? And he said, yeah. And then as I'm looking at the, as I'm looking at the, the camera, I'm like, shit, there it is. So I knew that. I was going to get flack for it. I knew that everything was going to, it was going to be a whole controversy and everything like that during the fight. So no best case scenario that could have happened was it was a no contest. Well, and the weird thing was, and I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong here. I've you know, been watching fights for a while. I've never seen like 50 people crowded around a screen like that. And then take so long to figure this out. Like, obviously we have instant replay for a reason, but did you yeah. find it odd that it a took so long and B there were so many people involved? Like I figured a couple people, but it seemed like there was a crowd of people around it. Yeah, I figured that it would have uh, stayed with Dan. Um, one of my corner men had actually like heard that Dan said that he was going to just going to keep it how it was, just based off of the way that Holland had responded to the to the clash. Um, just because as soon as he hit the canvas, he turned over and started like like playing guard and throwing his legs up and stuff like that. Um, so my one corner man like was kind of giving me a thumbs up in the corner, like "Yo, like it's okay. Like they're going to give you they're going to give you the win, and then it'll probably just get appealed afterwards." Um, but um, yeah, as soon as I saw him throw the yellow light up, I was like, all right, this is going to go not the way that I want it to go. So I knew, I knew it was going to be a controversy. I was talking to my brother about it the whole time we were in there. Um, yeah, it's just not the way that you want to fight to go. So when did you know it was a no contest? Was it when they announced it or did you find out prior to that? Like, when did you get an indication that it was going to be a no contest as opposed to a win? Uh, I found out there was going to be a no contest. Like as soon as Dan came back in, he was explaining it to Bruce, like, like what, like how to say it as far as that. And uh, yeah, that's when I found out. I mean, it was kind of the best case scenario that could have happened because if I would have gotten the win and then they would have appealed it, it would have become a no contest anyway. Um, but I'm sure that the backlash that we're getting for it, it would have been a lot worse. Have you spoken to the referee since the fight as, or, or the commission at all? No, I haven't spoken to anybody. Um, I don't really have anything to say. I mean, the fight, it, the fight is, is what it is. I can't turn back on uh, what had happened or anything like that. And I, they can't. Uh, kind of back up like you know like they can't go back on what they said either so you know there's some people out there that feel that if this was the other way around if kevin holland had done the headbutt and had gotten the win that they would have given him a win do you believe that um no i'm not going to say that i do do or don't believe it um but a lot of people are saying that obviously uh i don't know it's just weird the whole situation is weird the yeah. whole, the whole, yeah, the whole thing is just weird. the way everything uh, like unfolded and everything. It's, it's weird to me and it's weird to like my team. Um, but if the roles were reversed and it was no contest for us, you know, I would feel the same way that Kevin feels and I'm sure he would feel the same way that I feel right now. So, yeah, no, it's interesting. And, uh, has the UFC spoken to you or your management as uh, since the fight had happened? I know, you know, Kevin and you would both sort of express the desire to do a rematch, but has there been anything from the UFC side uh, yet? I haven't heard anything yet. I'm, I mean, I would expect to hear something soon. Um, I was talking to my brother, like just making sure that everything was cool with him as long as like I get the fight. Like, cause I, cause I had explained during my post fight interview that like I wanted to wait until January just based off of his fight and, and, um, having training camp for him and helping him out. Uh, as long as I don't fight in Abu Dhabi or 
I don't fight on my brother's card. I'm cool with the rematch earlier, and my brother's cool. My team is cool. Um, we just have to work out everything else. Yeah, no, that certainly makes sense. And what's been the feedback like? Because, like I said, I've seen mixed reviews. I've seen some people saying that was the right call. I've seen other people saying they they robbed Kyle of a win. What, what have you what, what have you sort of been seeing? Uh, you know, since the fight has happened, everything. Like I've been getting the worst messages that you can possibly think of from random people on Instagram. Um, but I've also been getting like ton, a ton of support as well. I've said I've gotten like probably ninety percent support and like ten percent of, of everything is negative. Um, but yeah, a majority of it. People are saying that, you know, I should have majority of the people that I've talked to have said that I should have received the win and then they should have appealed it afterwards just based off of how the fight like unfolded. Um, just because like the way he fell again, the way he fell, like I went for two submissions that he had fought out of. Um, and then as he was getting up, I took his back and, and choked him. So I guess I should any tap. So I guess I, like, I should have gotten the win and then he should have just appealed it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. A lot of it's just. It's all going through my head right now. I don't really know like how to explain it. Yeah. Uh, just based off of everything I've been seeing, like people are bad mouthing me. People are saying like I'm the dirty fighter. All this stuff. Really? People like, are saying that because like people people are like actually like making me look like to be the bad guy that I I had butted in like intentionally, and we we clashed heads in the middle of the cage. Like I didn't intentionally headbutt him. He leaped in with a hook. I ducked under it. As I was coming back up, we just clashed. Like. That's that's the only way I can explain. Like, just, just, goes, you, just goes to show you can't please anyone. Because like, had you won, I could see people being upset because hey, there was a headbutt, but it was a no yeah. contest. Like, no one like benefited from this whatsoever. So it just goes to show you that no matter what you do, social media will find people who don't like something, right? Oh yeah, yeah. social media is a bunch of bunch of scumbag people that they have in this world. So yeah, yeah. No, I'm with <clears> you there. And and just, you know, safe to say, probably not going to appeal this. Just try and go for the rematch. Is that kind of what you're looking at? Oh yeah, there's no, I'm not going to appeal anything. Um, mm -hmm. The fight is determined that how it is. It's a no contest. I have a I'm ten two and one one no contest now on my my record. But uh, I'm looking forward to the rematch. Uh, hopefully, I hear something soon. Um, I saw him on Ariel uh, Hawani this morning saying that he wanted to either get the rematch earlier this year and then then if I wanted to wait until next year, he would fight somebody else. But I mean, that's the type of guy that he is. He wants to stay busy, and that, I mean that's fine with me. Like as long as they give me enough time, I'm good. Health wise, how are you doing? Did you take any damage or have any damage sort of leading into the fight at all? No, I I, I took zero. I think I, I scratched. I like raked my elbow against the cage and my mm -hmm. elbow got a little swollen. But as far as the fight went, he smacked me in the face a couple of times, didn't land any punches, landed a little kick on my leg. And that was it. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm right now. I'm 100 percent like I was yeah. I went to training this morning. Like I'm all good. And, and just one last thing, Aaron Bronsetter, my good buddy, I believe it was him who had a tweet, you know, talking about Mike Rodriguez, who's in a similar situation. If you remember, he yeah. had hit Ed Herman in the groin and then Herman said he was out and then they continued the fight and then Herman got the submission win. So if we're going by that, technically you should have got the win there. Is that something that crossed your mind or were you aware of that fight uh, sort of after this fight and, and what had happened? Uh, I wasn't aware of it, but I did see that Aaron did like a huge thread on Twitter about it. And he posts, he poses a lot of good points. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's stupid of me to to say it this way, but I'm gonna say it anyway. If if he were to, if he were to get up, and sorry, my boat's drinking water again. Oh, don't worry, buddy. He's, yeah, <laughs> he's excited if, you're home. If, if he were to get up and he would have knocked me senseless, then it wouldn't have been a no contest for me because he got more like of the brunt of the head of the head clash. You know, mm -hmm. like he fell over from it, but then he recovered from it. But if if he would have knocked me out off of that, then I wouldn't like I wouldn't have complained or anything like that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. It's, it's just a lot of a lot of emotions going on right now. For sure. No, no, absolutely. And, and just kind of because I asked you the question earlier, and I, I guess I can kind of rephrase it this way. So let's say the headbutt happens. Well, it did happen. And let's say yeah. Holland was the one who got up and finished you. Do you think the win would have stood? Yes, it would have. hundred percent. It would have been because, again, he took a majority of the of the, the head clash. I didn't. Mm -hmm. So because he was affected by it so much, I think that's what led to their decision as far as the no contest. Right. Interesting. Okay. Well, that, that, that's, uh, that's interesting there. So yeah, kind of what I'm hearing here, stay ready just in case if they can do yeah. the rematch this year, we'll do it. If not, but like I said, the focus is on Chris Doc as your brother, who's going to be fighting Derek Lewis, correct? Uh, I mean, according to the UFC and according to all social media, the fight is on, but as far as of right now, nothing has been signed. Nothing has been sent to my brother or anything like that. But I mean, according to the UFC and everything it's on. So he's just waiting right now for, for the contract to, to sign. Okay, interesting. My mistake. I thought a, a reporter had come out and said, hey, that this is actually because I know there was Brett's tweet, right, which I, yeah. I had a good laugh because I saw Brett tweeted out and then you put the gif of I think it was Russell Westbrook going like, what? Yeah. This hasn't been signed. Um, but yeah, so so as of right now, from what your understanding is that nothing's been signed yet. 
Yeah, as far as like like I'm, I live four houses down from my brother, so as soon as he gets the contract, he's gonna tell me. Um, mm -hmm. But as of right now, I don't think anything's been signed. He hasn't told me anything or nothing like that. But I mean, we're expecting the fight, so he's just waiting on the contract. And let's say it does happen. How excited are you for Chris? I mean, that's a huge step up and a really big name for him to fight so early into his UFC career. Yeah, it's it's crazy to see that that in a little over a year he's already he's already on the main event fighting mm -hmm. the number two or three guy or whatever he is. And uh, yeah, it's 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 nuts. But I mean, he deserves everything he's getting. He deserves all of it because of the hard work he's putting in. And it's just it's amazing to see. It's amazing to experience together. And uh, I see him dominating that fight like Surreal dominated Derek too. So uh, before I get you out of here, I've been asking all the fighters. It's obviously some big news that had happened. Uh, well, two weeks ago now, uh, John Jones getting arrested. Just your reaction to that, and obviously the details that came out after. Pretty uh, pretty horrific stuff. I mean, the man has an issue. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. It, it just it's going to keep happening. I think until he does something like he posted on social media that he was done with it or whatnot. But how many times? Has he said that before? I'm sure he said it before. He just never made an actual post about it. Mm -hmm. um, it's just sad to see. It's sad to see him go through all that. And it's sad to see like how talented he is. But I think part of him being so talented and so like confident and cocky himself, like he thinks that he can do both. But I don't really think I, I just think it's a problem and it needs to it needs to either stop or he needs to needs to get some like repercussions from the UFC because of it. But he made his hey, it, when you're making money for the for the company, it seems like everybody's doing good. So. Yeah, no, for sure. And and just, uh, we're not going to end on a down note like that. What's the plan for the rest of the week? You getting in some time with your dog, you know, family, all that stuff, watching any Netflix. What are you doing this week? Yeah, so this week I'm just chilling out. Uh, Friday, my uh, fiance and I leave for Disney. So we're going to Disney for the weekend. And then nice. we come back. And, and then all eyes are set on on the next fight that I get. So, yeah. What, what made you decide on Disney? We love Disney. We're huge Disney heads. We always do a, um, a Disney trip after each fight that I have. Um, <clears throat> and because I got this fight, in june or july i think when i got called for it um we she had a, a family trip to disney scheduled for two weeks and i could unfortunately couldn't go and i was actually going to propose when i was out there so they threw off my whole thing but it's good because we're going this weekend so we can celebrate a little bit who's your favorite disney character mine uh probably pluto oh cool okay nice nice uh, d dog fan for sure yeah. hey kyle thanks for doing this man i know you got a million things to do probably since the fight yeah. uh, always appreciate it anyone you want to thank any sponsors any social media before we get out of here i'll give you the last word just my whole team thank you everybody for all the support uh everybody that's like out there just sending me like good messages i'm, I'm very thankful for all the support that everybody's giving me uh Prime nutrition and again uh antrim electric am fleet service all the guys that have been sponsoring me since like i was an amateur um, I'm very thankful for everybody and all my training partners and everything. I look forward to uh, getting in there again, getting the rematch done, and then coming out with a uh, win this time.